So, one who is under the control of the senses, he is go dash. Go means senses, and dash means servant. And one who is master of the senses, he is go sami. Sami means master, and go means sense. You have seen the go sami title. The Goswami title means one who is the master of the sense, one who is not the servant of the sense. So long one is servant of the senses, he cannot be uh, called a Goswami or Swami. Swami or Goswami, the same thing, means one who is the master of the sense. So unless one is not master of the senses, uh, he is uh, accepting this title of Swami and Goswami, he is cheating. One must be master of the senses. That is defined by Rupa Goswami. Goswami, Rupa Goswami. They were ministers. When they were ministers, they were not Goswami. But when they become disciples of Lord Chaitanya, Sanatam Goswami, Rupa Goswami, and was trained by him, they become Goswami. So Goswami is not a hereditary title. It is a qualification under the direction of spiritual master. One who attains perfection in controlling the senses, he is called Swami or Goswami. So one has to become Swami, Goswami. Then he can become spiritual master. Without being Swami or master of the senses, to become a spiritual master is bogus. That is also defined by Nupa Goswami. He says, Vāca-vīgaṁ, Krodha-vīgaṁ, Manasa-vīgaṁ, Jīvā-vīgaṁ, Udara-vīgaṁ, Upasa-vīgaṁ, Hītāna-vīgaṁ, Visayita-dhīra, Prithivīṁ sa-sishyār. He says, there are six impetus pushing Begam. Who saying Begam you can understand just as you are called by nature, you have to go to the toilet room. You cannot check. You have to answer. That is called Begam. Pushing. So there are six Begam pushing. What is that? Vacha uh, Begam. Begum, the pushing of talking, unnecessarily talking, uh, that is called pushing of the talks. Krodha Vega, uh, there is sometimes pushing of the anger. If I am very much angry, I cannot check myself. Uh, I do something which I ought not to do. Sometimes in anger, kills his own man. This is called begam, pushing. So pushing of the talking, pushing of the anger, and similarly pushing of the mind. The mind detests. Oh, you must go at once. Yes. Immediately. The pushing of the Talking, pushing of the mind, pushing of the anger, uh, then jiva vegam. Uh, jiva vegam, 
means uh, tongue. Uh, I want to taste such nice thing. Uh, some sweet balls or something else which I like very much. Oh. The one has to control this. Uh, one has to control his talking uh, unnecessary. One has to control his mind, dictation on mind. Uh, the yoga practice only on the mind. But our Krishna conscious practices, except mind, there are so many other things. There's anger, tongue, <coughs> then Juha yeah. Vegam, then Udara Vegam, from tongue, come little down. Uh, Udara means belly. The belly is already filled up. Still, I want to feel it more. Uh, that is called Vegam, uh, pushing of the belly. And when there are so much pushing of the tongue and pushing of the belly, the next underneath the genital, uh, there is force of the genital. Then I, mean, I require some sex. Uh, if I eat more, if I uh, use my tongue unnecessarily, if I allow my mind to do anything and everything, then I cannot check my genital also. There will be sex urge, which I cannot check. In this way, there are so many pushings. The Rupa Goswami says, one who has control over all this pushing machine, he can become spiritual master. Not that spiritual master is manufactured. One has to learn this. How to check the pushing of these things? Etan veganja vishayeta dhira. One who can control over this pushing and remains dhira, steady, prithivin sasisya, he can make disciples all over the world. Open. Yes. So, everything depends on training. That is yoga system. Yoga means, the whole yoga system means training. Ah, our senses, our mind, our these, there are so many things. Right? Then we are fixed up in the self. Ah, do you think that simply by 15 minutes meditation we realize and do all nonsense all the day? No. It requires training. You are going to solve the problems of life and you want to do it very cheap? No, then you will be cheated. You have to pay for it. If you want the nicest thing, then you have to pay for it. But by the grace of Lord Chaitanya, the payment has been made very easy. John Thare Krishna. Everything becomes very easy. All this controlling system, perfection of yoga system, becomes very easy. That is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Yaha haite sarva siddhi haive tama. Lord Chaitanya has blessed that if you follow this principle, chant it, then you get all the perfection of self-realization. That is a fact. So for this age, when people are so much fallen, no other process will be successful. This process is the only process. It is very easy and sublime and effective and practical and one can realize oneself. Pratyakham avavagam dharmam. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that you can practically experience. In other system, 
you do not practically experience how far you are making progress. But this system, if you follow uh, for a few days, you realize, yes, I am making progress. Just like if you eat, you understand that your hunger is satisfied. Similarly, actually, if you follow this principle of Krishna consciousness movement, you will see yourself that you are advancing in the matter of self-realization. One who controls the mind, and therefore the senses as well, is called Goswami, Swami. And one who is controlled by the mind is called Gudasa, or the servant of the senses. A Goswami knows the standard of sense happiness. In transcendental sense happiness, the senses are engaged in the service of Rishikesha, the supreme owner of the senses, Krishna. Serving Krishna with purified senses is called Krishna consciousness. That is the way of bringing the senses under full control. What is more, that is the highest perfection of yoga practice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 